Hi, welcome back to Auto 16 development tutorials. In this video, let us discuss about data files in Auto 16. The main part of module creation in Auto is the definition of different records. As we all know, Auto greatly depends on data. Therefore, it needs to manage menus and views of the user interface, access rights, access rules, different reports, and plain data. We can add data through XML and CSV files. Let's have a look at how we can define data in Auto via XML files. Here I have a folder named data inside the module tips and tricks and also I have a file named data.xml inside the folder data and I have specified the uh, part of this data.xml file inside the manifest inside data. Now let's go back to the data.xml file. I have opened the auto tag inside it. Now uh, the root element of the data files are data. So let's open the data tag. An attribute can be given inside the data is no update. If no update equal to 1, that is the contents of the file will be applied once when we install the module. If we change the contents of the records inside this data, it will not be applied to the UI even if we upgrade the module. The default will be no update equal to 0, that is if we are not passing this variable, the contents are modifiable later. Since we need to update the data later, so I am giving it as an uh, update equal to 0. Now let us see how to create a record uh, from the data files. So for that we need to open uh, the record tag inside the data tag. So the first element we need to pass along with the record tag is id. It is the external id of this particular record. So here I am going to create a record inside the model restore partner that I am going to create a partner record. So I am giving the id as partner1 and the next attribute is model that in which model we are going to create the record that we will specify in the attribute model. So I am going to create a record inside restore partner. So restore partner. So now we need to define the fields inside uh, the field values inside this particular record. For that, let's go to the UI. So uh, here I have opened the customer form view here. Uh, let's activate the debug mode. So the first, uh, so I'm going to create a record with the three fields, which is name form and email of the partner. So the first uh, field is name. Let's check the technical name of it which is name and the form uh, field's technical name is form and for the email it is email. So now we need to give values inside these fields. So I will open uh, the field tag inside this record tag and we'll specify which field we, we need to give the value here. So first field is name. So I'm going to name the partner as test partner. So this is how we give uh, a field value inside this particular record. Now let's copy this line and the next field is phone. Next one is email. So this is how we create records uh, inside the data files. Now let's run the PyCharm and upgrade the module. Let's go to the customer view. Yes, so here we can see the partner, test partner is created with uh, the name test partner, the phone that we, the phone number that we have given and with the email we specified in the data file. 
So in this way we can create record inside uh, data files. Now next we are going to have a look at the function tag. The function tag calls a method on a model with its provided attributes. Let's open a function tag here. The first attribute we pass along with the function tag is model. So in this uh, parameter model, we will specify the model we are going to call the method. So I am just giving it as restored partner. So I'm going to de uh, define a function inside the model restore partner. So I'm giving the model name as restore partner. Now the next attribute is name. So inside this uh, name attribute, we will specify the method name. So I'm just giving it as test method. Now we need to specify test method inside the model restore partner. So here I'm going to specify the method which is test method. Inside this method we can give the contents of the particular function here. So in this way we can define data files in Odo. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.